Hey everyone, Infinite Kaz here, and welcome back to another video. As we all know, a new season dropped the day I am writing this, and with every new season comes new weapons. This time, we got two completely unique main weapons, and I am always excited to see what the Splatoon team has come up with. As soon as I saw the new Splatling was coming, I was intrigued to say the least. So now that I have my hands on this new weapon, do I like it? Today, I just want to give some quick first impressions regarding this new weapon, and if it's something I think I'll use as someone who plays Splatlings the majority of the time. With that being said, let's get right into it. So to begin, what does the heavy edit Splatling look like on paper? It's a middleweight weapon that has good mobility, but an effective range between the mini and the heavy. At full charge, its firing speed is equal to 20 shots per second, while at a partial charge, it's only 15, as this weapon's mechanic is that its firing speed is greater at full charge, which does come as a trade-off to its range as the heavy splatling will always fire 15 bullets per second, making it in my view a slightly more aggressive heavy. However, the two weapons are admittedly similar, and with the heavy edit, I ended up playing it like the vanilla, although that may just be my less aggressive playstyle. This weapon, like most splatlings, is a 4 hit splat, dealing 26 damage per hit, making its kill time, especially at full charge, very fast. However, the weapon's kit is quite interesting, with curling bombs in Tacticooler. Curling bombs can provide decent paint and extra mobility, and while they don't synergize too well with a weapon that needs to charge, I still think they act well as a utility sub and can provide decent pressure. I find I don't use more active sub weapons on splatlings, so not having a more aggressive sub is not an issue for me personally. The special being Tacticolor is really great in my view. It's a great supportive special that can work in so many instances, and the heavy edit paints well enough to be able to get a respectable amount of Tacticolors in a match. For many people, the Tacticolor is enough to make the heavy edit a viable pick, and while I would not play a weapon solely for its kit, I understand why a great special makes a weapon much more lucrative to play. It's such a simple and versatile special you really can't go wrong with, and the heavy edit doesn't have a weakness that needs to be covered by its special, so I think this is a kit that synergizes well with the main weapon. Now let's talk about if I actually enjoy playing this weapon, and if it suits me. From what I've played, the heavy edit splatling fits well with my current playstyle, but is a little more aggressive than what I typically play. It's certainly not a backliner, but in Splatoon 3, where slower weapons can struggle to hold their own, I think you can play really effectively as a more supportive option that has the ability to quickly apply pressure and move in. When charging, the first circle fills up much more quickly than the second, making a partial charge satisfactory for when you get caught off guard or need that last shot to finish someone off. However, that full charge is obviously what you want to be using when defending or applying direct pressure to an opponent. The longer charge time on the heavy edit in my view means you are best hanging slightly back and making sure you don't put yourself in a vulnerable spot, especially if you intend to be out of position for longer than a full charge. As I play Hydra, I'm more than used to a longer charge time, so my playstyle with this weapon is likely less aggressive than a lot of people. However, the heavy edit seems to be versatile enough to allow a difference in usage. In addition to all of this, from my understanding, it's a very effective weapon 
at shredding Booyah bombs because it doesn't have a damage nerf to this special, which is very interesting but makes it excel in a niche scenario. I think importantly, do I like the heavy edit splatling? I think it's really fun and familiar enough as a Hydra player that I can pick it up and enjoy what it has to offer really easily. I think my main issue is it feels slightly too similar to the heavy, akin to the Splattershot versus splash matic Two similar weapons with slight unique variations. I do think its mechanic allows it to stand on its own, but to be honest, I don't really notice the increase in fire rate, at least from what I've played so far. You shoot quickly enough that a four shot at partial charge can quickly mow down an opponent, so that can allow you to play more aggressively, like a mini splatling. But I think it brings down the importance of its defining gimmick. This weapon definitely has a place in the game, but it's a little too early to see what really makes it stand on its own. In addition, I don't know how it will fare when playing the game more competitively. So to quickly conclude, I think its well balanced stats and a strong kit makes the heavy edit a great addition to the game, but especially compared to the Nautilus and the bow point, it feels less distinct than what it could have been. So there are my first impressions on the heavy edit splatling. Honestly, I can't wait to play more with this weapon and really master it. It's been a hot minute since I've really been excited for the new weapon edition, so while I wish we could have seen a new Stringer or Splatana this season, the heavy edit alone will give me a lot of enjoyment. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Have you tried out the heavy edit splatling yet? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Please like and subscribe as it really helps me out. We are nearly at 2000 subs and I would love to have you here. And with that being said, I will see you all next time. Bye!